Welcome to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to explore how we can use OpenAI's language processing capabilities to analyze form responses and store the analysis inside a Google Sheet automatically. So this is an incredibly useful automation for anyone who needs to analyze and process large amount of data quickly and efficiently. So in this video, I'll show you the entire process of setting up this automation step by step to streamline your workflow and make your life a whole lot easier. So we are going to set up this without any coding. So stay tuned. Let's begin. So I have created a poll using type form application. You can use any other form builder as well. And I want that whenever I get the responses of this form submission. So this is a political poll I have created. You can use it for any other purpose as well. I want that whenever I got the responses, OpenAI applications should analyze the data and give me an analysis summary and that will be stored in this spreadsheet automatically. For that to happen, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration tool for connecting these applications to uh, automate any kind of digital work. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. You can find this page in the description. From here, you can sign up for free. And after that, you can sign in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. From here, click on this Create Workflow button. Here, you can give any suitable name to this workflow. So let me give a name here. So I have given this name. After giving the name, click on Create button and your workflow page will load up like this. Here you will find the basic building blocks of this automation, which are trigger and action. So trigger is going to trigger or start this workflow and the action is the automated consequence or the response of the trigger. Okay. In our use case, getting a form response is going to trigger this, uh, trigger this workflow. Okay. And the action would be to analyze the response and send the data of analysis to Google Sheets. Okay. So here guys, we are receiving the form responses via type form. So search for type form here in the trigger and select it. Then select the trigger event as new entry. Okay, or new response. Then click on connect button. From here, select add new connection. Then click on connect with type form. And it might bring you to the login window if you are not logged in. But I have already logged in in type form. So it is just asking me to provide all these accesses to my account. So you just have to click on accept here and you will be connected with uh, type form in a few moments. You can see we are now connected and here it is asking to select the form in from which you're getting the responses. So, the, so my form's name is this one. You can see political poll is my form's name. All right, and here you can see the uh, here I have published this form. Okay, now let's share this form. Let me get the link of this form. Okay, and here you can see we are now connected. And after getting connected, click on save and send test request button. And it will start showing waiting for the response of the form. Okay, this means now we can perform a test submission. Test submission means now I'm going to manually fill the form on behalf of any test person or sample person. And the responses will be captured here in this response section. So we are going to capture this just for setting up this automation. Okay. So here you will find the link when you click on share, you can just copy the link and open it in a new tab like this. So this is my form guys and here I am going to click on take poll. Okay. And here it is asking for the name of the form submitter. So I'm just providing the full name as let's say sample name. Age, let's say 43. Location is let's say New York. New York. All right. And here it is asking let's get to the point, if there was a general election tomorrow, which party would you vote for? Okay, so let me select Green Party. How you feel about the general direction of the country going in the wrong direction? How do you feel about your own situation? About the same. 
couple of more questions which is the issue most important to me labor and business okay here i am clicking on submit and the and you can see the form is submitted okay let's see in our workflow if we got the data captured of this form submission and here you can see we got the data of the form submission so here you will find all the details tiny details of the forms of the forms components okay like the definition of the fields the color codes you can see the options the ids okay and here in the last part of this response you will get the uh, form response filled by the user you can see the name sample name is here okay this is the age field you can see the party selected everything is captured here okay now guys i want to analyze this data using open ai application so search for open ai here in the action step and select the action event now as generate content then click on connect button from here select add new connection and here it will ask for the api key of open ai you will get the key by clicking on this open ai keys page keys page okay and here you can generate a secret key i have so many keys generated let me just revoke the previous keys let me generate a new one okay this is a key generated just copy this key and paste it here and click on save and you'll be connected with openai okay now it is asking to for select to select the artificial intelligence model which you want to use to generate the test completion so i'm selecting text davinci 003 most widely used model here you have to provide a prompt so prompt is a kind of command that you have to give to open ai to generate things to, or to do things for you okay so you have to be really careful in providing these prompts because the, the because this is the main thing that you have to do if you want to use open ai efficiently you have to give correct prompts okay so you can uh, check the supported prompts format by clicking here okay so from the documentation section of open ai you can learn about the prompts and let me type a prompt here so here i have given the prompt you can see give a short analysis of the responses of a political poll form the questions and responses are as follows so here guys after this uh, sentence i am going to provide the questions and the responses of the questions that we have received from the first step so here you can see as i have, as i have put the cursor here the previous step the type form new entry trigger step is appearing here in the drop down and when you click on it you will find the data right here so first of all i'm going to map the questions i have asked in the form so when you scroll here you will find the questions first okay so here you can see this is the first question the definition field title three you can see the questions and you just have to click here and here's how you can map the question okay then after put a put a next line and provide answer here so first of all let me just map the questions first then we are going to map the answers so guys you can see i have mapped the questions here and after the questions i have put answers here okay so let me map the answers now so you will find the answers in the responses when you scroll down here till the last you will find the answers like this this is the name this is the age this is the city location and here is the answer of the first question the party to vote okay and let me just similarly map all other answers as well all right so guys you can see i have mapped all the answers you can see here this is the answer one answer second here in the third question i have entered a number rating so i have mapped here three the rating received and i have written out of five in opinion scale okay and here you can see uh, now it is asking for the maximum tokens that means the maximum number of words that you want to generate so 2048 is the default is the maximum value 256 is the default value so i'm just putting here 300 as the token number here you can select the sampling type as temperature or nucleus i am selecting temperature this is a technique to generate content okay and we have some technical details here you can leave these things blank if you want okay 
and here you can select best of one or best of two or best of three option I'm selecting best of two so it will resample the data two times and give us the best results and here click on save and send test request button and you will get your analysis ready in a few seconds you can see guys here this is the response we got and in this choices zero text label here we got the analysis based on these responses it appears that the respondent is likely a green party voter who believes in the country is going in the right wrong direction they also feel their own situation they see here is three out of five okay how beautiful is this okay this is how you can get the analysis generated now it is time to save the analysis here in this spreadsheet along with some other details of the form submitter for that to happen just click here on this plus icon and in this action step connect with google sheets okay select google sheets option and then select the action event as add new row then click on connect button from here select add new connection then click on sign in with google and from this window select that google account by which you have created the spreadsheet then you have to provide some additional access to your account just click on allow and you will be connected with the spreadsheet okay then it will ask for selecting your spreadsheets name. So the name of my spreadsheet is form responses analysis let me just select it here okay then it will ask for the sheets name so i have only one sheet here and it will be auto populated now let's fill all these fields these are the headers of the columns i have you can see let me just map the details so for the submitters name i'm going to use the form responses that i have received so you can just search for the name label all right you can see similarly search for the age label all right so i have mapped the age similarly you can map the location and finally guys we are going to map the analysis that we have generated using openai so map the choices zero text label from the openai step and now you can check your connection with spreadsheet by clicking on save and send test request button let me just click on it and the data will be sent to my spreadsheet you can see we have received this response let's check our spreadsheet and here you can see guys we got this data and the analysis received here this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once after that it will work automatically whenever you are going to receive a form submission it will be analyzed and the data you will receive here in the spreadsheet automatically and i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free pably connect account and start using this automation instantly guys if you want to connect with our support team you can email us at support at the you can ask and discuss your queries on our forum via this link and you can check the pricing plans of pably connect via pably.com slash connect hashtag pricing and guys if you like our videos do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much